Are you one of these people that struggles to see through their veil? You can't see eggs and you get very, very frustrated. I find with a lot of the cheaper bee suits, the veil quality is very, very poor and it kind of ruins your beekeeping experience not being able to see through the veil properly. If that's the case, then you are gonna enjoy this video because not only am I gonna completely fix that problem, but I'm also gonna give away a full beekeeping suit with the solution embedded inside. Now, I would say, I'm gonna take the veil off actually. I don't need the veil on for this bit, do I? I would say one of my favorite things about doing YouTube videos is that you just get sent lots of free beekeeping stuff. It is amazing. So this came in the post. I also got a free electric bee vaporizer smoker in the post as well. So thank you to people who send me free stuff. It wouldn't be fair to keep all of the stuff for myself, but I'm gonna keep this because it's kind of cool and I don't know how to get another one. But this solves a problem that I do not have. So not only am I gonna show you how we fix this mystery product into a veil to improve the visibility, but I'm also gonna give it away because I don't actually need it for myself. But I've realized that a lot of people do have this issue. So enough of me talking about smokers and mystery products. Let me show you what this is. So this cool little contraption here is the plastic casing that is going to encapsulate a piece of clear see-through plastic that we're gonna cut out and we're gonna put in my veil. Now I've seen videos of people bodging this a little bit with sticks like and silicon and cutting it themselves. This is the first product I've seen where it's been genuinely commercialized. Now I'm not gonna give you like a full detailed rundown of how to do this. You know me, no nonsense beekeeping. We're gonna run through this pretty quickly. You clamp this into your veil, make sure that it's exactly right eye height like that. You can either mark it with a pen and then just cut round or you can just cut directly on the veil. I'm gonna give that a go now. And then all you do is you get these little screws and you just screw it together in your veil like that. So that probably made no sense whatsoever. So here we go, I've got a veil, I can't see through it. I'm looking at my bees, can't see the eggs, absolute nightmare. I'm gonna fix that now onto my veil, cutting out all of that piece of the veil. And then within these two bits of plastic here, cause they come apart, we're gonna stick some of this really clear plastic material going to clamp it in place, meaning that I've got a completely sealed bee-proof veil that I can see through. All right, so I know that I'm going to be about there with my veil. So apparently what you do is you, you take the instructions and you put those in the bin and then you try and work it out for yourself. And then here is the plastic clear bit that I'm going to put to one side. And then you get a little packet of screws and then you realize you've not got a screwdriver. That's why you're supposed to read the instructions. But you know me, I've always got something on hand to make things work. So I've got my Leatherman. It's gonna take a little bit longer to do it with the Leatherman, but we'll give it a go. Right, so probably says something like this in the instructions. I genuinely do not get on well with instructions. So I put something in there just to give me the ability to actually work with it a bit here. Got a breeze block in there. And then you've got these little lining up points. So the lining up points need to go in through there and you can feel it just all clicks together really nicely like that. So I've got a really nice positive click there. Pretty much happy with that now. In the right space, let's start screwing it in. Right, so at that point you realize that the front was the back and the back was the front. Again, read the instructions. And what I mean by that is one side has much bigger holes and that's where the screws need to go. Right, so we're back into position now, everything's fine. And I'm just gonna go around putting a few screws in just to start holding it together. So I was thinking it's gonna be a little bit more fiddly than that. It is catching a bit on the veil there, but it's doing what I want it to do, which is giving it a nice tight squeeze. Right, so I've got this to a position where I've got like a few of the screws in there now. It's nice and tight in all of the corners. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna cut exactly around the inside there in order to get the perfect cutout on that veil. And I think this video is going to have to be sponsored by the Leatherman Micro because it is doing all of the work for me here. But I'm going to take this tool now, I'm going to cut around all of that frame, nice and neat. So definitely in advertising mode, I'm actually not going to use the scissors, I'm going to use the blade because the blade on these is razor sharp. Let me find out where that blade is. There we go. So then now that I've got that nicely secure in place, I can just go around the edge, go around that veil, keeping it nice and tight and then just cutting it flush to where that new mark is. Now, I'm not a man with good dexterity, as you will see by the finished product on this. So I do apologize to whoever wins this in the competition at the end, 
not very good at this, but it's worked. I've cut around all of the edges like that, frayed them off nicely, and I've kept them all within the barriers of that frame. You can see they're now completely cut out. And all we're gonna do now is lift off that top one, under the screws, lift it off, put the clear cover back in, screw it all back together again. I might flambe the edges a little bit there as well, just to make it neater. And then we will see if it works. So it comes with this little nifty piece of plastic. And then all you need to do is just peel off both sides. It's got the holes pre-drilled, which is really nice and easy. And then all we're doing is just clamping it in between those two frames. And then hopefully that's gonna work. Like definitely hope I don't get stung in the face, but I'm pretty sure this is gonna work. So there we go, just undoing those bits now. Taking them off. Now it looks like that's off now. It's not, there's another bit on there. I knew there was another bit on there. So there we go, get that other bit off as well. And wow, that is kind of super clear. There we go. So let's get that in now. Right, so once you've taken out the screws for the alignment, you can just take that off. The little pins hold everything in place. That is really, really handy. And then you just line everything over like that. So at this point you realize if you've done something wrong. And no, that's looking pretty good. So that is completely sealed in. Got a little bit of fray in there, but that doesn't matter. And then you put the frame back on the top and then you're gonna go back around again now and get every single screw in. Right, how exciting is this? Let's get it on, see what it looks like and see if I messed up the cutting of that completely. Well, I'm definitely happy with the positioning of it. It's pretty much perfect, I would say. Once I get a cap on there, wouldn't want it any lower, wouldn't want it any higher. So happy with the positioning of it. And yeah, the visibility is absolutely crystal clear. Really, really happy with that. Right, so before I give you the details of the competition, let's go and find a nice friendly colony of bees, test out this veil and see if I can see better through it. Right, so the bees seem friendly enough. I've got my veil on fully protected. I'm gonna do it in t-shirt and shorts. And you know what? That is really, really good. I'm not just saying it. And I know I do jump into advert mode, but that is like looking at the bees without a veil on. Like it genuinely is like there's no veil on whatsoever. There's no reflections, there's no glare. I can get right in close. This is really gonna make a big, big difference to a lot of people. If you wear glasses and the veil is interfering with your glasses, that's gonna cause you an issue. Whereas this shouldn't pose you any challenges because there's nothing in between you apart from a clear piece of plastic. Right, so this product here gets a 10 out of 10 for me. That is a game changer, especially if you wear glasses. If you wanna win this exact veil, along with the bee suit, I'm not just gonna send you a veil on its own. If you wanna be in with a chance of winning it, hit the like button, stick a comment below.